The National Dog Show, presented by Purina, is brought to you by J.C. Penney. To fill the season with wonder, unwrap the magic. It's all inside J.C. Penney. And by Petco. For the best pet products and pet care, come to Petco, where the pets go. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all once again. John O'Hurley and David Fry here at the National Dog Show, presented by Purina. This is the Working Group. The working group is judged by Dr. Roger Pritchard from Midwest City, Oklahoma. His steward is Mr. Charles Schaefer. So we're looking at the giant schnauzer. Oh, shut your mouth. Luca. It's a great charismatic dog. He's got a wonderful personality, goes everywhere. With Ben Franzoso, the owner handler. Ben's a uh, police officer in Ardsley, New York. All the policemen in Westchester County are watching. <laughs> the giant schnauzer, there's three distinct breeds of schnauzers. The giant, the standard, are both in this working group, and the miniature schnauzer, who's in the terrier group. They're all called schnauzers, but these are not varieties. These are different breeds. Working dogs were bred to perform specific tasks for people, whether it's pulling, hauling freight, driving cattle, being guard dogs. They're all big and powerful. You can see that as you look at them, as you, especially here with the Alaskan Malamute. This is a beautiful coat on this, this dog. Isn't that something? <laughs> it, really, it really is. And, and with the correct standoff coat, these dogs look bigger than they really are. I mean, this is an 85-pound dog. I, you would look at that and think maybe it's a bigger dog than that. You can see this spitz sort of look to it with the pointed ears and the standoff coat. Extremely strong animals. Great family dog, very people-oriented, very smart. Want to please their people. This is Crush. Won the national specialty last year. Malamutes, best in show dog. David, you mentioned that many of these dogs are previous champions, some of them even best in show, but that doesn't mean anything because you only get your two minutes in front of the judge. The wonderful thing about our sport is the subjectivity of the judging. What was important to one judge today might not be so important to a different judge judging the same dog tomorrow. And, and judging is kind of a give and take situation too. No dog is perfect. You may love the head on a dog, but you might not like the way it moves. Now, how are you gonna judge that dog? Is the, does a great head overcome uh, maybe movement that isn't so great? You have to make those decisions as a judge. And you have to look at the big picture. You can't get hung up on parts. As W.C. Fields says, just because you fall in love with a dimple doesn't mean you have to marry the girl. <laughs> and that from a man that never worked with kids or dogs. <laughs> well, to be a judge, you really have to be equal parts engineer, know where everything goes, all the angles, all the measurements, and artist. You have to have a picture of what looks good and what's pleasing to the eye. Thank you. Take her down to the, or take him down to the. We see the Siberian Husky. Seven-year-old dog. This dog just won the Siberian Nationals. And again, the big entry today in Siberians, 117 of them. You know that the winner that comes forward is a pretty good dog. Absolutely. There's a brown Newfoundland. It's an unusual color. I don't recall seeing one this color before. It is unusual. Of course, the most famous Newfoundland in the world these days is Josh, the great black Newfoundland that was best in show at Westminster in 2004. Yeah, looks like he's leaking from the front there, too, isn't he? <laughs> this oh, is <boy>. Zeus. <laughs> you got to love a little bit of well, slime, huh? These dogs are not for neat freaks. They drool, they shed, they fall all over the water bowl. <laughs> The, the best trait that a Newfoundland owner has is the ability to get dressed and get out the door quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down and back. Ready to take his walk. Cleans him up a little bit. Sends him on his way. <laughs> the Newfoundland is not the only one leaking from the mouth. I can tell you who his favorite is. <laughs> Just to remind you, we're only able to show you 
several of the dogs in this group. If you go online to dogshowusa.com, click on National Dog Show, and you can see the walks and the examinations of Thank every you. breed winner in our Best in Group online video special. It also includes the expert commentary from Wayne Ferguson of the Kennel Club of Philadelphia. And we'll go down to Wayne now, who's announcing our next dog. The St. Bernard. This gentle giant gets its name from the hospice of St. Bernard in the Swiss Alps. Tradition has it that these great dogs were taken into the Alps centuries ago and bred by monks as rescue dogs to find people lost in the passes of caught avalanches. The St. Bernard should be even-tempered, well-mannered, and pleasant. He has proven to be a superior companion dog for families with an abundant amount of space, incidentally. And here we see the beautiful, smooth-coated St. Bernard, Myrtle, a two-year-old female, handled by a 12-year-old female, Laura Flannery. A great family sport of showing dogs. We have second and third and even fourth generation families involved in this great sport. This is indeed a family sport as they go from show to show to show around the country. There's something for everybody. There is a great community of spirit backstage, too, among the people that are showing. Absolutely. The American Kennel Club sponsors thousands of events every year, and every aspect of the sport of showing dogs. Go to the AKC website at akc.org. Find the event for you and your dog. He's running down, taking his last pass here. And we'll have his decision when we return to the National Dog Show presented by Purina. What you're looking at are the ambassadors for the Above and Beyond English Center Rescue Group. They're backstage here at the National Dog Show presented by Purina, hoping to find homes for these dogs and also recruit volunteers to help them in their local organization. All the money that is generated from the sales of those wristbands and the dog collars you see are donated to these little ambassadors. It's all part of the Pro Plan Rally to Rescue. And if you want to find out more or learn more about this worthy cause, go to rallytorescue.org. As we move on to our working group, here are our winners. The Alaskan Malamute is first. The Giant Schnauzer is second. Third is the Great Pyrenees. And fourth is the Newfoundland. Beautiful dogs all. And there you have it. That's five. Five on our way to seven. Seven will give us our group for the best in show as we start with the toy group, one of my favorites, David. And the Italian Greyhound there leading the pack, the Powder Puff Chinese Crested, the Pomeranian, the Long Coat Chihuahua, the Toy Fox Terrier, the Miniature Pincher, the Toy Manchester Terrier, the Havanese, the Maltese, the Shih Tzu, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the English Toy Spaniels, two varieties, the Japanese Chin, the Papillon, the Silky Terrier, and the Yorkshire Terrier, and the Affin Pincher, the Brussels Griffon, the Pug, and last but not least, the Pekingese. David, I salute you for not missing a single one. <laughs> You, I'm never not broke, even you never broke stride there. I'm not even a toy guy, but I love them all. They're so distinctive, aren't they? They really are. Now, these are the miniature version of their larger, uh, of the larger breeds. And here's the perfect example. The Italian Greyhound is, of course, a miniature Greyhound bred down. Developed as a small breed to resemble the Greyhound, but to be enjoyed more as a companion dog and a bed warmer. These dogs are delicate. They have this okay, Bob, great high-stepping free gait. Very fast, very hardy, great athletic dog. Wants to be with you all the time. Stokes is athlete all over. Picture the Greyhound, picture the Whippet. Barely visible from this side. Well, there's he. There he is. Same kind of, <laughs> same kind of deep chest, tuck up in the loin. Allows them to run. The Italian Greyhound, Dharma. Number one IG in America. Oh, I just identified as a boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Timothy Lehman is the breeder owner handler here. Beautiful Italian greyhound. Our judge in the toy group was Mrs. Jean Fournier from Calhoun, Georgia, assisted by ring steward Dr. Samuel Peacock. 
here's the Pomeranian. No. Oh. <laughs> Cute look to the camera there. Standard says that these dogs are supposed to be cocky. They have a sweet, loving disposition, but they're always looking at you as if to say, aren't I cute? David, you know, when we started this some four years ago, the, the dogs reacted more to the cameras than they do right now. It doesn't seem to shock them as much. It almost seems <laughs> as though they're getting used to being on television. Well, it's like being in front of all these screaming, clapping people. You know, these dogs get to a lot of dog shows. Uh, the beauty of our sport is you can be involved at whatever level you want to be involved in, whether it's going to 10 dog shows a year or 20 or 50 or 100. Some of these top show dogs get to 150 dog shows a year. So uh, the dogs at some point, you know, have to be getting used to it. If it's not fun for the dog, you better find another activity for you and your dog. This reminds me of when I walk too fast and my wife is wearing high heels. It's like, stop <laughs> down, please. This, this is Dutchy. <laughs> Two-year-old dogs import from Thailand, actually. Oh, uh, so Maltese. Now, I have a Maltese at home, and, and I keep it cut or with the puppy cut there, not this. Every time I see a Maltese like this, I think it's named... Ja, ja. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay to clip your dog. You don't have to put up with all this coat if you don't want to. You're getting the dog that's the package, the personality. If you want the coat, that's a bonus. But you have to work at it. These coats just don't happen on their own. No, but they are part of the confirmation. It's important to understand that this is, this, the, the, the coat should go to the floor. Is that the way that it's described? It's sure, be beyond even. Mm -hmm. Actually shown with two top knots on top of their head. But that's, it's a single coat. Go straight to the ground. And of course, most of the time, the dog's sitting on somebody's lap anyway, so it doesn't make much difference. This is probably the world's first lap dog. It's an ancient dog with roots in Malta. Well, we've had such a good time with my dog, Scotia, now 14 years old. You can imagine we're just starting to look at colleges. <laughs> just to show you what we do with names here, this dog's registered name is Champion BJ's Pinball Wizard, and its call name is Tommy. Well, Tommy and the rest of the toys continue after this. Yes, Mr. Puppy, there is so much to discover. Uh-huh. Like beneficial healthy growth for puppies. With crunchy rice, real chicken, and ooh, real milk. Even vitamin-rich vegetables. There's extra protein for those growing muscles. And calcium for developing healthy bones and teeth. You just think you're getting spoiled. Life is good. Very good. Beneful Healthy Growth for Puppies. Another healthful, flavorful Beneful. King Kong, of course, the newest member of the AKC toy group. This breed is known to Europeans at least. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so the Affin Pincher here? The Affin Pincher is a monkey like terrier. Just take a look at that mustache, beard, eyebrows. In France, actually called the Diablotin Moustachu, which means the mustached little devil, as the Westie could tell us. <laughs> actually, it was a lot larger dog originally. It was a ratter on the farm, but it's bred down now. It's more of a mouser than a ratter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just go for, go for mice now. <laughs> These are fun little dogs. The yeah, Affin Pincher, this is Action Jackson. Yes, we saw Action backstage. Ready for Action Jackson. It's Miss Fournier. Taking a look. Oh. Here's the squeaky toy. A little squeaky toy to gauge the attentiveness there. Huh? Oh, speaking of squeaky toys. And here's the pug. This is Dermot. Dermot's the number two show dog in America. Oops. Backtrack just a bit there. That's interesting. Now, we backed off the judge a little bit, David. Tell me, does the judge react to that a little bit? Well, it depends on what the situation is and what the breed is. Some breeds are just naturally going to lean back a little bit. Dermot's used to all of this stuff. I don't know what set him off there. Very close here, handling. Top pug in the history of the breed. This is a beautiful dog. Typically beautiful and expressive, the, what we call the pug mug. Standard has the phrase multum in parvo. There's a lot of dog in a small space. <laughs> That's kind of a 
saunter back and forth there, kind of a heave of the chest. And around, please. So this would be one of the dogs to beat today, would you say? I would think so. I mean, there's a lot of nice dogs in this toy group. But you know, they don't win every day. They don't win every weekend. It's pretty close between a lot of these dogs. I like the Pomeranian a lot in this group, too. The Italian Greyhound. When we look at the powder puff Chinese crested, they're normally shown without coat. Not normally, but often without coat. This Fournier taking a look down the line here. It's a nice looking group. I like the Cavalier too. Cavalier's beautiful. The English Toy Spaniel. Very nice. The IG up here, IG. Pulls the IG out first. Right I don't think she's pulling out in any order in particular here. It's just kind of as she comes to him coming down the line. Pomeranian. You can hear her making Chihuahua. her picks, the Pomeranian. Also a dog that you like. The Maltese. The Maltese. I know Scotia's going to be happy at home that he's <laughs> been fairly represented, at least Happy in the first cut. Yeah, Papillon, you can hear the crowd getting behind their favorites. Well, no, this, is a, this is a very popular class with the people, but uh, popular group, rather. Hoping to influence the judge with the, all the fans there cheering for their favorites. We hope you're cheering at home, too. Down here. All down here. I'm sure Scotia is sitting there chewing a sock on the sofa right now. All down here. Just a sock, it can't one a like eating one of your good leather coats or something. Okay. <laughs> Around one at a time. One at a time, here we go, the beautiful IG. I like this dog a lot. And there's your Pomeranian. Huh? There's the Pomeranian. Here's the long coat Chihuahua. You can't do it too. Yeah. The Maltese. Let me guess who your pick's going to be, John. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually like that Pomeranian. I think that was very adorable. Papillon flying around the ring, too. Yeah, a Papillon. A little butterfly ears there. That's it. Oh, yeah, from France. There's our Westie when we need it. Here's the uh, Yorkshire Terrier. And there, sure. Here's Action Jackson. Ready? Yep, he's in the gang too. All right, let me have him. Yeah. I didn't have to compete against anybody today, you know that? <laughs> and there's Dermot. Number two dog in the country. Two toys, number one and number two in the country right now. Sir, put the IG up here. Ooh. Brings the IG out right first. Up here. Let's see what she's doing. Uh -oh. That dog in front. That's a Maltese, great little IG, right number there. one IG in the country. But and she you, puts the Maltese up in front of the IG. And you have no way of knowing what order she's thinking of. Because no judge does it the same. They always leave an element of surprise there. Well, I think that's a good thing. Catherine Pincher, stay it right is, here. It is, after all, a dog show. Bring yes. this dog up here. Put the pug right here. Put the pug in the, in the, the pug's out of the You two right. switch. Oops, there's the pug up into the fourth spot. Looks like that's the way Maltese it's going to be. Is one. Oh. The IG Maltese is two. Mm. Is three. The Italian Greyhound is second. The Pomeranian is third, and the Pug is fourth. And there is much celebration going on back at my house. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely group, a wonderful toy group. Yes. Um, Maltese is our winner. The toy group, one more to go before best in show. There he is, your winner. Now go get yourself a haircut. Welcome back to the National Dog Show, presented by Purina. Happy Thanksgiving. As you're watching the representatives of our herding group, our final group before Best in Show, entering the ring right now. The herding group was actually the newest group in the AKC. These are all dogs that were part of the working group before, but they're all tough, hardy dogs, very athletic, that are used for herding animals, cattle, sheep, 
Geese, you name it. We just uh, finished with the toy group that was won by the Maltese. But the dog to beat in that class was the Pug. And that's backstage right now with Andrea Joyce. Barry, can you tell us what happened out there? Uh, well, last week I, I showed the dog, and the judge was going over the dog, and she was examining the mouth, and uh, she didn't do anything wrong. She, she went in there the right way, but I think she might have caught his lip with her nail, and uh, he just he went down on the table, and, and um, he hasn't been the same since. Any idea what the future holds now? I, I guess we're just going to have to take it day by day and, and, and see. I don't, I don't know. Well, it looks like Dermot is licking his wounds back there, but the show goes on. Every dog has his day. Here's the Belgian Sheepdog. Boy, this is a great dog. This is Eli, six years old, belongs to Sherry uh, Hanley, who's a deputy sheriff in law enforcement. And actually, this dog was inducted into the Purina Hall of Fame for his work at Ground Zero. One of three Belgian herding dogs in this group, the Belgian Malinois, the Belgian Tervuren are the other Just two. Straight down, straight back, and then stack here. These dogs have to be not only fast in, a, in one direction, but also have to be able to move side to side very quickly. Very athletic and agile dogs are used as police dogs. The world's probably the world's best known police dog. Called the Gronendal in most of the world, but in this country, the Belgian Sheepdog. Okay, thanks. Just around these beautiful yourself. high small ears and a beautiful chiseled head. Very curious. Loves the world around it. Our judge for the herding group is Mrs. Terry Carter from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Her steward is Mr. Lawrence Brown. You see the Briard. This is these great eyebrows that kind of arch up and out, as you see there. Beard, kind of a wavy coat, cropped ears. And in the tail, you see a little hook in the tail that they call the crochet. One of the characteristics that are breed type that define the breed and make it different than any other breed. This is Derby, top winning Briard in the country, handled by Joan Scott. Actually, is the winningest black or gray bitch in Briard history. This is a beautiful breed. You can look at that long coat. It's for both protection against predators and disguise is protecting its charges. But as you can see, the grooming and the size should both be considerations if you're thinking about a dog like this. Not to mention the fact that they're a little bit stubborn and very active and agile. Wonderful companions for the right people. If you're the right person for a dog like that, then come see us. <laughs> Find a responsible breeder. Go to the AKC website at akc.org. Find the Briard Club of America. All of these breeds that you see have parent clubs that are the protectors and the advocates for these breeds. The Collie Club of America, one of the great parent clubs. This is a very unusual marking on this collie. This is a blue Merle Collie, a rough collie. The rough collie meaning the long coat. Not a great family pet, but also a very active, athletic, working dog. You see the beautiful head and expression in these dogs is very important, this breed. And we're winding down now. The herding group on our way to best in show. We'll be back with more. When the National Dog Show presented by Purina continues. Dogs want to be where we want to be. It's only natural. And because we spend so much of our time indoors, so do they. That's why Purina created Little Bites Indoor Complete for indoor dogs with more high quality protein for lean muscle mass. And because indoor dogs may be prone to dry skin, more vitamin E for a healthy skin and a shiny coat. Long live your buddy. Long live your dog. 
Purina Little Bites Indoor Complete. We're back with the National Dog Show presented by Purina. Coming to the conclusion of the herding group, our final group before best in show. And this here is the Bearded Collie. Being presented to the judge right now. Beautiful young dog, just kind of starting a specials career. Handler Mark Bettis, known for handling great bearded collies, and it happens to be Mark's birthday today. As he shows Bailey to the judge. It'd be a nice birthday present for him to win this group. Let's see if we can all be singing to him here shortly. The National Dog Show, presented by Purina, is a bench show, which means all the dogs and their owners remain backstage so that the public can have an interactive experience. Yeah, just around by himself. And NBC's Kenan Harkin has been preparing some interesting and very funny looks at what goes on behind the scenes here at the Dog Show. Kenan's features are available online at dogshowusa.com. The Interesting dog here, always the Pooley with that corded look. They have this great athletic ability, too, to go with all those organized mats, as we call them. But, you know, this coat shouldn't take the attention away from the fact that this dog has to be a sound, athletic, tough little herding dog. Black is the color that you'll see most often, but it also comes in gray and even white. I say that washing a pulley is a bit like washing a sweater. <laughs> It'll lay it on its back in a tub of water, agitate gently, and then rinse. <laughs> they, they say that the self ringing ability would be nice in a dog like this. I'd send it out for dry cleaning. Have a look. <laughs> Take a little while. They're beautiful, athletic little dogs. We're up on the Pembroke Welsh Corgi here. Corgi, very popular dog. It's a great dogs. Again, great athletic, quick little guys. Very possessive of their people, hard working. No tail. She has no food, she says. The other, the other corgi in this ring is the is the cardigan Welsh corgi that does have a tail and has some other differences, but similar to the Pembroke. Pembroke okay. people tell me that he's not a small dog, he's just short. This is Pembroke Welsh Corgi. This is Little Beth, number five Pembroke in the country. He's a great swimmer and loves to cliff dive in his own little world. You wouldn't think that this, uh, the ballast would, uh, would function in the pool, would you? <laughs> It'd be tough to keep those legs moving fast enough to keep you afloat, but apparently that's not true. Yes, she looks pretty good. Charming little dogs. I, like, I really do like the Pembrokes. Judge Ms. Carter looks back down the line. Um, so, and I'm doing my cut. I want you're going to be the first one I cut. I want you to go and stand. Just Give behind instructions the to her side. people. Thank you. <laughs> Always want to make sure you're doing exactly what the judge tells you. I think, just a second. I think she's got it wrong. So she has to make a line up there. Tell her to come back behind the pole. So get her ring organized here. Making a cut. So she can kind of take a second look at other dogs that she liked the first time around. Sometimes it's tough. You, know, you may not have enough ribbons in a group. This, is a, this looks like a tough group to me. There's the Pooley. There's the Pooley. There's the Australian Catalog. And the Pembroke. Who do you like in this group, David? Well, I, I think the Briard might be the dog to beat. The, the Bearded Collie's a nice young dog. I love the Pooley. Okay, so I'm going to have you go one at a time. And if you could just, um, when you go around, don't do the whole ring because I want you to end up back in I'm here, just taking okay? one last look at them going around. around. Okay. Take a look at the Briard, the first one around. 
down the line of winning a beautiful dog. Australian Shepherd. The Bearded Collie. Coming right into your living room here. The Pooley. What a great <laughs> shot. <laughs> Agile, athletic dogs. All the dogs in this group need to be athletic and have great endurance and be tough. Here's the Australian cattle dog. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Takes one last look here. Okay. Here. Pulls the beardy out first. Good looking dog. So nice looking dog. Beautifully presented by Mark Pettis. I'll bet this is her choice, huh? Looks like it. I would guess this is the way it's going to end up. Okay. So, first is my bearded collie. Yeah, Second bearded. is the Pembroke West Corgi. Third, the Pooley. The beardy the wins it. The Pembroke is second. The Pooley is third. And the Briard is fourth. And that completes our herding group. We have our seven finalists for best in show. He's a happy dog. Our final circle filled in with the bearded collie. There are our seven for best in show. Only one, only one will walk away with this trophy. And the excitement is assembling backstage. There are our seven. If you're at home, get your cell phone out because it's almost time for the People's Choice Best in Show. You're going to participate as well. Next. Now's your chance to use your vote and your cell phones for the People's Choice Best in Show. Your votes need to be text to 62288. That spells NBC TV. If you like the Springer Spaniel, text one and so on. Each vote will cost 50 cents. And you'll receive the results later today in a text message and depending upon your carrier, also a special dog show memento. So text your vote 62288, spelling NBC TV. And there is our class of 2005, David, all here for Best in Show. What a wonderful lineup for our Best in Show judge, Mrs. Connie Barton, who's assisted in the ring by her stewards, Mr. William Berlin, the show chair, and Mr. Daniel Shoemaker, the president of the Kennel Club of Philadelphia. I study trot, sir, please. This is a very revered position for a judge. It really is, especially at a show like this with great tradition and history. Thank you, sir. Let me see him on the side, please. As you hear her, Aspen, Aspen missed Ride the Tide, better known as Crush, named after the sea turtle in Finding Nemo. <laughs> Beautiful dog, a nice start with the Malamute. Here's the Scottish Deerhound. Margo, the number one Deerhound in the country. What I find interesting is how the ears lie, ears lie flat until the dog moves and then they quickly turn them up back around the head. But paying attention to the handler, being sensitive to their environment. I don't know what's, what's coming up next. Leslie Ann Potts handling Margo. It's a beautiful dog. I hadn't seen this dog much before today. Very nice. Good. Thank you very much. He likes what she sees. How could you not? I, when you get to the end of a 2,000 dog show, you've got seven nice dogs in the ring. It must be very difficult to make this decision. Well, you know, sometimes it's difficult and sometimes it's easy. I mean, how can you go wrong? Who's going to argue with whoever you pick for whatever reason you want? Here's the bearded collie from the herding group. Bailey. Bailey's handling. You know, beardies have this great kind of, they call it the joie de vivre. 
All right, sir. You take him down. Often see what's called the beardy bounce, which means the dog jumps straight up in the air, usually the most inopportune moment. See the tail going. Beardies love to be where the action is. Just have this inquisitive look about them. As you can see, there's a commitment to grooming somewhere in there. Very nice. Well done. Take him down, Very nice. Good boy, Bailey. That's right. In the sporting group, here's the English Springer Spaniel James. James is actually named after a famous Springer of the past, Adamant James, the last two-time winner of the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show in 1971 and 72. Thank you, Ben. I do love the markings on this dog. They're pretty. They're very pretty. This dog is beautiful standing here. James. Beautiful liver and white color, James. Nice double coat. Very smart, great hunting dog. This is the number five sporting dog in the country. Here, James is. Mrs. Barton takes a look. He sets himself up nicely for her. Thank you, madam. Why don't you go? This dog's going to weigh as much as 50 pounds, about 20 inches high or so at the shoulder. Colored Bull Terrier from the Terrier Group. Yeah. Might be the hottest show dog in the country right now. Been winning a lot of big shows here recently. Came out of the very, very tough Terrier Group, where it defeated the number seven dog in the country and our defending champion from last year, Gracie, the Smooth Fox right Terrier. Nice steady trot, three quarters maybe. Dog should give you the picture of power. Rufus has a beautiful head, the proper wedge, egg-shaped head. David, is it common for a dog to repeat in best in as best in show? Well, it's really kind of a mathematical thing, you know. It just depends on if, if all the judges align properly for you, dog judges that like your dog. And there's so many great dogs out there that anything can happen any day. This dog I really like, this beautiful little Boston Terrier. Pippa. She's all eyes. Yes, <laughs> and she's all tuxedo, too. Huh? The tuxedo, the American gentleman. But Pippa, of course, is the gentle lady. Handled by Jack Seacrest. Jack is well known for handling a lot of big dogs. Almost looks like we have our little evening gloves on. <laughs> Pippa. How you Beautiful look to these dogs. They have this nice, inquisitive look. They're very people-oriented. Mm -hmm. A little brindle in her. Let's see it from the camera. Great eyes. The very first dog to be recognized by the American Kennel Club as made in America, developed in this country. Nice and easy. Along with the Beagle, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, Cocker, Malmute, Collie, dogs like that. Pippa, champion keynotes, center stage, a two-year-old female, started winning at six months of age and has not let up at all. Representing the toy group, the Maltese. There you go, looking at those other teeth. Tommy, the pinball wizard, showing with the double top knot, the black bows. That helps bring out the pigment, the black points of the dog. Attentive little eye. Madam, so happily. The dogs of royalty. Lap dogs, comforters. A, a very typical toy in that they are for the comfort of their owners. You mentioned earlier that many of the toy group were actually used historically as foot warbers. Back before. 
Heat was such a, an easy commodity. It was easy to use the dog on the toes. It still happens around my house. <laughs> Taking a close look at the Maltese, the representative from the toy group. Making a little noise, checking the expression of the dog. I'm sorry. She's seen all seven of them now. Here is the moment of truth, David. I'm going to send you around one at a time. Tell me what you like. Go at, how, however you want to go, fast, slow. This is your time. Good luck to you. <laughs> there you have it. Good luck to you. That's, Good luck That indeed. about says it all, doesn't it? Everybody in there hopes that, uh, that the judge will have a moment of divine inspiration when they're looking at their dog. One last look. There's Crush, the man here. Margo, the deer hound. Who do you like at home? You should be rooting too. We want to hear you. The bearded collie. Keep those cell phones hey. ringing. The English Springer Spaniel. The Springer James. I'm going to go with the Springer. My eye is really drawn to that. Colored Bull Terrier. Here's another dog that you I think it's going to be tough to beat this dog. The Colored Bull Terrier, hottest dog in America right now. Won a tough group, probably the toughest group of the day. The Boston Terrier. But I, this is the dog I'd take home. <laughs> if I could just get Ellen Kennedy to... <laughs> Turn her back on her dog for a moment. <laughs> Look at her go, Pippa. The Maltese. And the Maltese. You, you, you know, we really have, this is a great best in show group. It really does represent some, some of the finest dogs we've seen. Thank you, all of you. It'll You're be over in a down. heartbeat. <laughs> she takes one last look over her shoulder. Heads over to Signer Book as we look at the finalists, the Alaskan Malamute, the Scottish Deerhound, the Bearded Collie, the English Springer Spaniel, the Colored Bull Terrier Rufus, Pippa, the Boston Terrier from the non-sporting group, and the Toy Dog, the Maltese. Joining Connie Barton, our presentation committee, Ernie Plank with the trophy from Purina, Dan Shoemaker, president of the Kennel Club of Philly, Bill Berlin, show chairman, and of course, Wayne Ferguson, our announcer. Bull Terrier. There's your decision. The Bull Terrier, David, you called it. You said this was, the sh this was a tough dog well to beat. Well indeed, well indeed. Well the hottest dog in America, the colored Bull Terrier, Rufus, is best in show. We'll be back to wrap things up here in Philly in just a moment. When you have a pet, life is better. Because pets enrich our lives in immeasurable ways. Purina shares your passion for pets. It's why we continue to do all we can to help pet owners make the world a better place for pets. Purina, your pet, our passion. For videos, stories, and other cool stuff, visit PetCentric.com. The National Dog Show, presented by Purina, is brought to you by Purina, your pet, our passion. And by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. There's the parade, David, and the show always, always entertains and certainly surprises. Your final thoughts? Another great event from the Kennel Club of Philadelphia. The National Dog Show presented by Purina. What a great way to spend the holiday with all of our best friends. And thank you once again on behalf of David Fry, myself, John O'Hurley, and of course backstage, Andrea Joyce, thank you for inviting us into your homes and spending Thanksgiving Day with you.